trying to use controls to show the interaction between two objects. Here's a program similar to the ones you've written in the past where you go to some initial position, you put on a proper costume, and then you keep doing something forever. So we'll quickly see how that goes. It runs like this. And as you can see, the sprite does not interact with the wall because it doesn't know that anything happened. We've previously seen how you try to make sprites interact by deciding where the sprite is relative to the object, but we saw that that didn't work if you move the object. So let's do a scheme that will work even if you do move the object. So instead of using the forever control, we're going to use the repeat control. And we're going to use the repeat until something is true. So what do we want to do? We want to be moving to the right continually until something's true. And what we want to do is until something has happened. And what's the thing that's happened is we're going to sense where we are in the world. So we're going to say when we are touching a particular color, that's the criteria, then we're going to do something else. So we're going to repeat. So here's our plan. We're going to repeat this step here, moving 10 steps until we touch a color. And then when we touch a color, we're going to do something different. We're going to turn around and say, ow. So what color do we want to touch? We're going to touch the color black. And you'd say, but your box is made of purple, but it has a black boundary. It has a black boundary. That's what we're going to do. So let's try it now. We'll take our sprite, put it over here. We're going to go to the initial position. We're going to face to the right, and we're going to move until we touch something black. Oh, that's actually sort of greenish. So the default was green. Let's make it completely black. That should work a little bit better. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It stopped. When the whiskers touch the black of that, it stopped. So what do we want to do besides this? What we want to do besides this, we'd like to turn around and go the other way. So that involves changing our looks. So we're going to switch to costume two. That's going to make us turn the other way. We're going to say something. Say, ow, as we did before. And then we're going to say, ow, for half a second. And then we're going to go back in the other direction. So let's glide back to the beginning position. So we'll say here, um, and this time we'll take a long time to glide our way back. We go to our initial position, which was minus 140 and minus 40. So let's see how this program works. We start on the right, we zoom across, and we slowly go. So we start, we hit and go. This is moving rather quickly, so why don't we slow it down a little bit to see what this looks like. Again, that's a control, so we can use the wait statement. And this will slow the whole thing down. So we'll move just a little bit at a time until we hit. And there we've hit, and now we'll turn back and go the other way. So that's a complete program using the repeat structure.